I'm Claire McArdle. I'm a sculptor and I live and work in Colorado. When I first started working in marble, I thought I was crazy, what am I doing? And a woman who was instructing me gave me the great ad advice to make my first pieces all by hand. And this is something that connects you with the spirit of carving. And it's really true. When I moved to Italy and I started working with the big diamond saws and removing material, everything about it was so fascinating to me. Um, the noise, the, um, the physicality of it, cutting away the subtractive method of doing sculpture versus modeling and adding pieces of clay on. And that there's something inside this block of stone and the stone itself has such history. It's a metamorphic rock. It was seashells from the ocean that have been under heat and pressure in the earth. And when I first started driving and um, bicycling up into the quarries in Carrara, it was like, I, I was just in love with this material, and um, and I still am. I've had many studios over the years, and particularly in Italy, when I go over to work marble and choose my marble in the quarries, I basically rent a space in a studio, and I have access to the air hoses and the electric, and I work among other sculptors and and the artisans, the artigiani, who are hired by the studio to work for other artists or make reproduction works. And so you are part of a, um, a group. There's a camaraderie amongst you that you're sharing in um, the noise and the dust and the creation, the creative process. Um, and that's very different from where I am now on a small working ranch in Hygiene, Colorado, where I have a studio that I'm protected from the elements indoors. Um, I have trees that my husband cuts down and provides wood for my wood stove. And I can work in the winter very alone. And that is when I go into my inner world and really create lots of models in clay. The clay is very fast and spontaneous. And those ideas come, I think, directly from my subconscious mind. So they're fast and um, something I can produce quickly in terms of ideas. And then from there, I can pick a piece that I might want a bronze or I might want to use it as a model to enlarge in a certain kind of marble. And uh, I can see it in my mind's eye. OK, this piece will be three feet tall in white marble with veining, or I, want, I see this piece 30 inches in pink marble, and then I search for that material. And if I don't have it here, then I have to go quarry it somewhere. The title for the upcoming show is called Taking Wing. And when I heard about the title, I was really excited because I have these pieces that I've been working on for about six years, a series that have winged features to them that represent metamorphosis and transformation and some angelic energies. And um, they'll also feature some new techniques with gold leaf that I'm just starting. Mm -hmm.